Hello everyone and welcome back to Kensington Garden. This is the second part of the video that I did shoot and posted a while back but I just didn't want to make it too long so I had to um, stop the video at a certain point and I'm bringing you the second part which will be a detailed coverage of this park, this beautiful park. So um, I did touch on the entrance and uh, you know a few other things just go check the previous video and this is a continuation so I'm just going to take you around the park so you can see things through my lenses so as you can see there are a number of fountains in this park there's a main pond here and I really don't want to call it a main pond because there's one here there's one right across over there which I'll take you to very soon but uh, to say the least it is a very very beautiful park and it's right opposite from Lancaster um, Lancaster Gate Station I believe and uh, I'll just take you around and show you what I'm seeing so come along with me so these plants here are waiting for their time to be planted here I believe well some of them have been planted already because the rangers make sure that everything is thick and span or the gardeners rather they make sure everything is thick and span so any dying plant is replaced by another one so as you can see the, the line there has been tilled and uh, that um, spare ground there is um, where those two pots and other pots from this section here will be going into the soil for planting so that's one uh, <laughs> and how was your weekend and how's your week so far today is a Monday uh, well actually today is a Tuesday <laughs> today is a Tuesday and uh, it's quite sunny out here in England. It was wet and gloomy yesterday and uh, I thought it was going to rain actually. I do have a volley in my bag. But surprise, surprise, the sun is up and it's very, very cheerful around here. So, here's a structure right here inside the park within this fountain area. And uh, we'll take a walk in there to see what's going on there. I think it might just be a place to sit, but uh, let's go find out. And of course, everywhere you turn to, there are plants to beautify the area. So, there we go. It's a certain area, it's really really quiet and uh, yeah that's all that's going on around here. And here's a view from the side from here, there's a mausoleum there, we'll go down there later on and see what's going on but uh, from this end this is what I'm seeing. And I hope that you're enjoying this view as well. See, that's a bed right there for plants, and that's one of the uh, gardeners as well. Yeah, busy at work. And this is a sitting area, as I would say, and benches right there. And it's quite peaceful. So, if you happen to be around this area and you just want to say a break, this is one area you can sit down, it's very, very private. Animals and humans coexist in this park. So, yeah. If you're a dog lover, you can bring your dog here as long as you keep it under control.
the park stretches for miles on end. Into the green right ahead. And this is the main sitting area I would say. What do you think? Has anyone ever been to this park? What do you think of it if you have been? Was it this part of when you came here or was it um, sparsely populated? I'm guessing right now this place is um, slightly crowded. I don't know if that's the right thing to say. But this isn't summer and I can only imagine what it will be like during the summer. I wasn't here during summer so I can't say. But uh, yeah, you can only imagine. The water looks murky and I don't think there are any fish in it and the weather is gradually changing so you can see the clouds are coming through but it's not going to stop anything because it is a beautiful day as far as I'm concerned so there yeah. There are people from different walks of life here. People from Asia, people from Italy. I can speak a couple. I can hear a couple <laughs> speaking Italian right behind me. There are quite a number of statues um, so, in this okay, park. So in this, um, so this one is a Jenna or someone by the name Jenna. This is a, um, a statue dedicated to Mr. Jenna and uh, we'll see the reason why. So here's a statue from here and that's the name boldly engraved in that marble um, plaque and that's the view and Mr. Jenner has his um, hand under his chin as if he's lost in thought and can you imagine that pigeon is sitting down right on top of his head rude pigeon anyway Mr. Jenner, lost in thought. Does the name Jenna sound familiar to anyone? Has anyone heard the name Jenna? If you have, leave your comments in the comment section below. So right below that uh, statue of Jenna is a plaque here indicating the reason why or what he did. And I'll just run through it so you can read it. So right here. So he was a doctor and I believe he found uh, a vaccination. Um, to cure smallpox. You know, don't quote me. I will read it up and you can do the same thing as well. But I'll just go through what we have here. This black right here. 
and someone who contributed greatly to society, and that's the reason why uh, he's remembered. You know, history remembers him. And uh, at the end, it says this plaque was funded and placed here by the Friends of Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens, the Jenner Educational Trust and St. George's Hospital Medical School in 1996 the bicentennial anniversary of Jenna's discovery. So basically, I mean, he's the one that uh, founded the um, vaccination for smallpox. That's huge. Thank you, Dr. Jenna. So if you happen to be in England and you come to London, see another pigeon just stopped there. I don't know, maybe that's some kind of sign of respect. Or some way of protecting Mr. Jenna. <laughs> Dr. Jenna. But yeah, if you happen to be in London, this is a place I would recommend. Come out here, come see this and uh, come enjoy the park and what it has to offer. Let me take another view around so you can see what you'll enjoy you'll enjoy this great view here the fountains there's another fountain right ahead right there and another fountain right here basically this place is surrounded by fountains so if you happen to be out here bring along your sandwich a drink a little picnic basket and uh, it's a great place to have a picnic so on that note, this video is getting a little bit long, I will cut it here and start in another video but I hope you've enjoyed this video so far and I'd like you to leave your comments in the comment section and also kindly subscribe, like, share and tell your friends about this little channel and I'll see you in my next video. See you in part three. Thanks for watching.